have any concerns about the white paper, we could discuss those. And then, um, Tracy, I think you've got an update on the uh, where we are with getting maintainers for the training and education working group. Um, but I don't think we're going to get to either of those votes. And so um, I would suggest we just start and have a brief discussion or a long one, as the case may be, but I think it'll be brief on the white paper. Um, Art, I think, you know, as I said in my note, I think you guys did a great job. I just had minor uh, suggestion that we add uh, Project Quilt since it was approved um, to, the, uh, to the list of projects. I don't think we need to weave much more in, but I think it would be um, a good thing to to try and get something in. I don't know if anybody's on from the quilt project. Yeah, we. Uh, I just sent out an email, Chris, responding to your email about five minutes ago. <clears throat> um, we would love it if someone from Quilt could write up a comparable uh, project description. Yeah. And they can either add it themselves or we can add it for them. Um, Silla's just joined. Sorry? sorry. Who just joined? Uh, si 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 Silas ju just joined. Right. Hi, yeah, I just came in. Yeah. Hi there. Sorry, I mixed up Borrow and Quilt for. Yeah, a we need we need like Adrian or somebody to to do that. So yeah, Hart, if you could chase that one, I think it would be good to to just add that. Yeah, it definitely would be. Um, so if we could get someone to, to contribute that, that would be wonderful. Yeah, if you can't grab Adrian in the next couple of days, let me know and, and I'll, you know, I'll just distill something out of the proposal. Okay, awesome. Any other comments, concerns, questions about the white paper? Chris, this is Vipin. Uh, uh, sorry, I would sent out something just now uh, sorry it was so delayed um basically uh, i think it's a great job like you said it's very difficult to get uh, something comprehensive written about something as vast as the hyperledger uh, umbrella uh, with all the projects the uh, the comments that i had were one of them was about the introduction which basically says that the connection, you know, the, the um, um, comparison to databases, uh, although it may seem comfortable, it's not, it's not the way we should go because I think we should uh, also explicitly mention the uh, antecedents of this idea with respect to Satoshi's paper, I know that the paper is mentioned, but further in the down as a, an example of a public blockchain. Um, then also the development of that idea into these, you know, into the split into the uh, federated systems that that Hyperledger is incubating. So that was one comment. The other comment was on the use cases, which was basically, um, it starts off with a debt or a loan use case, which I think is, I mean, although it might be correct, it, it uh, projects the wrong idea uh, that we should have a use case on issuance. I know that it's focused on the on something that is, um, you know, the use cases that are, have already been either discussed or um, in production uh, or in POC on each of those DLTs. Um, and then the third, I, third thing that I said was, you know, basically, obviously the these comments are coming too late. Um, so I would understand in the you know, to, to in the to to get the uh, paper out, uh, we may not uh, 
have, you know, many of these comments included because it may need more work, more uh, uh, feedback loops and so on. The, the idea was to uh, somehow uh, inject, uh, inject something which says how this is going to be a living document and what, uh, you know, what would be the path forward to the uh, future versions, if at all, uh, getting released, if that is even a thought. Um, that, that was all, thank you. <clears throat> so, um, so Vipin, to clarify something, we are, cons we are considering this a living document, right? As we add projects and other things, they'll need to be added. Um, we don't think some of the sections will change too much, at least hopefully, like, uh, like for instance, I don't anticipate our design philosophy wildly changing. The organization is kind of in a steadier place at this point. Um, some of your other comments, we didn't want to list every use case. We just kind of wanted to list some illustrative ones. Um, you know, we figured that uh, things like asset issuance, you can kind of infer from some of the, the use cases we mentioned. Um, and kind of, it was really difficult to get people to write up use cases they were interested in. This was probably the hardest part of the paper uh, and one of the reasons why it took so long. Uh, so if you've been following the list, you'll see, you know, you know that we had to cut out kind of the highlighted features section. Um, and that's mainly because we didn't have enough people uh, focusing on kind of use cases or applications. Uh, which is understandable, you know, maybe people don't want to make their use cases public. Uh, but as far as the database comparison, I kind of wanted to root. I mean, I, I think blockchain is rooted in databases and I wanted to draw this, uh, you know, kind of line, I guess. Um, if you think we should explicit our debt to Bitcoin more, um, you know. It's not Bitcoin as much as. The, the idea, I mean, um, because I mean, I think, I think the main thing is the chain idea, which um, which is there present in every uh, implementation I have seen of DLTs, even though some people uh, claim they are not chain, you know, they are not blockchain. Like for example, Corda, they have chain. They okay, if you think covering if a you think single transaction. If you think there's a good way to implement this, I mean, we're probably not. Uh, so our next step is to send this to a technical writer to make it look pretty. Um, we're probably yeah. not going to do that in the next like few days. So if you think there's a good way to to say this, um, I'd please feel free to like issue a pull request um, in the for the introduction. Um, if if you think there's a there's a good way to say this, and and mm -hmm. we'd be saying this. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, the uh, the point that I'm trying to make is one. Yes, I understand uh, that you uh, got that section out. You know, the one where you had the illustrative uh, uh, sort of highlights section, which was obviously Arno's comment about there being only one, which was identity, which which is uh, that I, I mean, identity. I, I you know, I I know that identity is a very important uh, you know, and foundational use case, but I see the imprint of indie all over the paper, right? I mean, which which is because of their participation. I understand why. I mean, I'm not uh, I'm not uh, averse to that, uh, but then you need to bring some kind of a balance into the picture. Um, you know, because the, it leads off the use cases, lead off with the indie use case, basically. And all over the place, there's indie. I mean, you know, if I search for indies, it's, it, that is because they participated, Drummond, uh, you know, Nathan, and everybody else. Yes. I mean, that's who actually uh, got the uh, paper over the finish line along with you, Hart. I mean, I completely understand that. Um, so yeah, for the introduction, I'll try, but you know, 
Um, I, I'm not insisting on any of these. Obviously, I cannot. But but I'm just saying that uh, you know, then uh, if it is a living document, I would like to see how you know that living document stuff is embedded in the in the in the in the paper itself of uh, future versions. Um, you know. Uh, taking life i will i will uh, try to uh, at least try to word something about the the chain idea and then i'll send it to you okay you thank can, you. Uh, yeah. you you can you can see whether it's you know whether it's completely off off the mark or whatever it is and include it if you want to Yeah, I mean, that's all for me. And I think it's, you know, like I said, it's very difficult to come up with this uh, a by, joint vision. By that same token, I mean, as you, as you bring up, you bring up a lot of people in Indy participated, and that's true. We also didn't have um, much Aroha participation, <clears throat> and that's kind of why that section is really light. Um, so if anyone from Aroha wants to edit that section and uh, buff it up in the next couple of days or week or so. That would be wonderful. Yeah, I get the feeling because of the of the difference in time zone is one of the main reasons why they do not participate. I, I, I mean, even in the identity working group or the architecture working group, uh, you know, we haven't seen their presence that much. Okay. Thanks, Pippin. Any other comments on the white paper? I have a comment. Um, yeah. Dan, uh, Dan Middleton? Yes, sir. Um, would you mind, I, I just saw your PR request. Uh, it looks good. Can you please use itemize for your lists or some other list formatting? Yeah, sure. Thanks. All right, that's my comment. <laughs> <laughs> And then as, as far as, as Aroha, keep in mind that, that uh, they're a you know, relatively 